Welcome back. This is your 12 Days of Google Christmas. This is day three of your Google Christmas in 2019. The third most asked question about the Bible in 2019 via Google is, who is Jesus? The only real way to examine who Jesus is, is to look at ourselves first. And so my first point is that man, that is man globally, not just males, but man is sinful. We get that out of Romans chapter three, verse 23. It says this, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. You see, man was created to have fellowship with God, but because we are sinful, we have fallen short, causing a separation between man and God. We get that concept out of Romans chapter 6, where Paul says this, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay, that brings us to our third point where we're finally getting to Christ. You see, Christ is the one and only provision the Father made for us to get past this gap that we have all sinned and the price of sin is death. So how do we get there? It's Christ. You see, Christ died in our place. We also find that in Romans. Romans chapter 5 this time, it says this. God demonstrated his own love towards us that in while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Not only did Christ die for us because of this separation that we created between ourselves and the Father, he also then conquered death, rose from the dead. We find that illustrated in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, where we read this. Christ died for our sins. He was buried. He was raised on the third day. According to the scriptures, he appeared to Peter, then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500. Because we have separated ourselves from the Father through sin and Christ came and he died and was resurrected, that makes him the only way for us as men to get to the Father and receive that eternal reward. We find that over in John chapter 14 where it says this, Jesus said to him, I'm the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. If you have any more questions about the life of Jesus Christ or why he came or how that worked, the incarnation, any of those things, leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to engage with you in that way. Either way, I pray you are enjoying this series. I'll see you right back here tomorrow for day two. Merry Christmas.